you know, God bless mothers because they have an, uh, just huge amount of love for their offspring. But I think that dates back to the old caveman days, you know, for survival. You know, you got to love your offspring. You don't want them to get, you know, eaten by a bear or something. However, when you know that your offspring has done something bad, not just something bad like steal candy from the store, but they have murdered somebody and you still have the gall and the nerve to support them. That's motherly love. I'm pretty sure Hitler's mother loved him too, you know. Anyway, let's watch this mother talk about her good son and how good he was. And oh my goodness, he, this guy was perfect. Yes, because you're the mom. Of course, you're going to think your kid is perfect. This motherfucker was a ruthless murderer. And that's it. Case closed. And if anything, who raised him? That's the question that needs to be asked. Here. Who raised him? Her funky ass. That's the answer. Thanks for coming. If you could uh, state your full name, spelling each of your names, and proceed when you're ready. Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N, Palenti, P-A-W-L-E-N-T-Y. I am the mother of Derek Sholin. I am here to be ashamed. on behalf of my entire family. Shame. On November 25th, Shame is what you should feel. 2020, not only and did Derek's life feeling. change forever, but so did mine and my family's. Oh, poor baby. Oh. Derek devoted 19 years of his life to the Minneapolis Police Department. It has been difficult for me to hear and read what the media, public, and prosecution team believe Derek to be an aggressive, the truth. heartless, and uncaring person. I can tell you that is far from the truth. My son's identity has also been reduced to that as of that as a racist. The truth. Want this court to know that none of these things are true and that my son is a good man. Good man. Derek always dedicated his life and time to the police department. Even on his days off, he would call in to see if they needed help. Hey, you need Derek help killing quiet, black people? Thoughtful, it's my day off. Honorable and what the hell? Selfless man. He Get a, a hobby, you heard? Stop calling he in. Nobody calls in to work on their day off. Hey, do you need help? Who does that? The public will never know the loving and caring man he is that his family does. He's loving and caring. To white Even people. though I have not spoken publicly, I have always supported him 100% and always will. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Derek has played over and over in his head the events of that day. I have seen the toll. It it's simple. The him. guy's handcuffed. Get I the fuck off his neck. There's nothing to replay. Well. Why is your knee on his neck? You when piece you of garbage. My son, you will also be sentencing me. Yes, you should be sentenced too, you piece of trash. You raised him. I will not be able to. This is what you created. You are Frankenstein, and this is Frankenstein's monster, okay? Give him our special hug. Oh my goodness, she wants to give him a hug. Plus the fact that when he is released, Ridiculous. his father and I. Most likely will not be 
here. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't let me cry for this. Calm down. Calm down. Eric. Ridiculous. My happiest moment is when I gave birth to you. That should be your saddest moment. This and piece of garbage. Is when this piece of trash. Badge on you. I remember you whispering to me, don't stick me with it. Derek, I want you to know I have always believed in your innocence and I will never wait. How can you believe in somebody's innocence when you see the footage of him having his knee on this guy's neck until, and then later on he dies. Like, come on, get the fuck out of here. I've always believed in your innocence. Talk about being dumb. Dumbass motherfucking bitch. No offense to dumbass motherfucking bitches. As we talked about, and I want you to do the same for me. I will do what you told me to do. Take care of myself. So I will be here for you. This mo come this motherfucker's not even crying. His mother is over here bearing her soul, and she he's a fucking stone cold killer. He's a sociopath. Look at this. If my mom was over there talking about me, I'd be crying like a little bitch. No offense to the bitch. Remember, you are my favorite son. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, bitch. You just fucking... If I was on the jury and I heard this from her, I'd be like, you know what? Add another 10 years to this motherfucker. Ridiculous. Ridiculous.